second dimension is the homes have to be within walking distance of neighborhood retail, neighborhood serving retail, and or a park or open space. Um, these are amenities to the neighborhood and very important to the neighborhood. Um, one of the challenges, especially with retail, is uh, the, the conventional mindset for retailers is, is parking in front, convenience, how do we get our, our shoppers in and out? And frankly, that defeats often the urban dimension of form-based codes or, or of, of walkable urbanity. So form-based codes can help overcome that by driving toward an urban form while contemplating the retail dimensions that are very important amenities to the neighborhood but it all has to be thought out holistically. And in fact, um, to expect the retail to not have some help or subsidy from the residential component is probably um, a fallacy. But again, thinking through this and having a broader view than just a strip center or one particular development, which is the way development has ha happened for us, um, Will, will lead to a, uh, a better outcome. There we go. Third dimension is the average dwelling units per unit need to be at least eight per acre. I'll calibrate that for you in a minute in a couple of neighborhoods. That eight per acre allows for enough captive economy to feed that neighborhood serving retail, to create the tax base, to pay for the open space and the other amenities that are required for the infrastructure required to create a great place. It's, just, it's a very important dimension. Um, just to calibrate, um, Hyde Park is slightly over six dwelling units per acre. Um, Hyde Park's a pretty nice place. If they had eight, my guess is eight dwelling units per acre, they'd have less turnover in Hyde Park Square, and Michigan Terrace would have been filled by now. So they're, they're close, but they're not quite there. And then the fourth is that the, the walk has to be pedestrian friendly and safe and interesting and a place that draws people in. And that's really what form-based co codes do. It's all about the pedestrian orientation. How wide are the sidewalks? How, does the, how, do, how do the buildings address the pedestrian and create place? So what I've tried to give you is a quantitative framework to think about as you um, vision your communities and how form-based codes might look. The, um, let me go to a couple of neighborhoods. No. <laughs> I'm going to cut you off at really? this point. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you would, actually, you can go to a neighborhood. I'll take you there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scott. <laughs>